Hi, and welcome to graphing in uh, proportional relationships. So we're going to graph this proportional relationship, and this is what it is, y equals 2x, where y, every y value is 2 times any x value. And we will often graph them, which is why I have this graph here. And if you'll remember, the horizontal are the x values and the vertical are the y values okay so we have that all set but before we jump into that we're going to create a table and uh, our table is going to be of x values and y values okay that wasn't so good but luckily I have a tool for creating straight lines and I will use that tool right now and our horizontal hopefully okay now what we'll have are x values let's start at an easy number like let's say x is 0 then y as we can see here y is going to be 2 times whatever x is. So if x is 0, 2 times 0 is 0. Hey, that was easy. Now what if x were 1? Uh, 2 times 1, so it would be 2 times 1 is 2. So the y value is 2. And I'll go on a 1, 2, 3, 4. And as I said, each y value is 2 times the x value. So this would be 2 times 2 is 4, 2 times 3 is 6, and 2 times 4 is 8. And we can then call these ordered pairs. And those ordered pairs would be 0, 0, 1, 2, 2, 4, 3, 6, and 4, 8. Now, we should also know that the first number is the x value on our, uh, you know, it's called the input, it's called the x, uh, and the second number is the y number, or the output. And we're going to now apply this to our graph. So I'm going to, I'll make this a little bit bigger. In fact, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to make this a little bit smaller, move this over here, and blow it up a little bit. So it'll be easier to see here. Now, uh, I'm going to scrunch in a little bit. And now we're all set. I'm going to first uh, do this. I'm going to plot now these ordered pairs. Uh, 0, comma 0. 0 comma 0, I will do this in red. 0 comma 0 is this dot right in the middle. And then I will do 1 comma 2, that's 1 on the x and 2 on the y. And 1 comma 2 is found, let's see, we have 1 on the x here, and then go 2 on the y, it's that point right there. So 1, 2, it's right there. Now when I do this, I should end up with a straight line that I can make through all these dots. And the next one, 2 comma 4. 2 on the x, 4 on the y. So 2 on the x means I go here. 4 on the y means I go up to here. So there's my next dot. And then I'm going to do 3 comma 6. So 3 on the x and 6 on the y. Hopefully you're watching this straight line develop. And then my last one is 4, 8, and I'll just put that up here. And I am going to get my straight line tool. And that should go right through here, like this. Okay. It's about as good as I got right there. So, there is my straight line. And I'm also going to say that this is the point 0 comma 0, uh, 1 comma 2, uh, 2 comma 4, 3 comma 6, 
and 4 comma 8 and it would just keep on going so uh, you know it would be what's the next point would be 5 comma 10 so I was a little bit off on that but it'd be 5 comma 10 would be the next point and these are for proportional relationships I want to say real quick that proportional relationships only exist in the first quadrant now this goes back to sixth grade, but the quadrants uh, go like this. The first quadrant is right here. This is the first quadrant, and they they number them in uh, Roman numerals usually. The second quadrant is right here. Oops, second quadrant is here, and the third quadrant is the bottom left. You know what? I didn't do that very well. Let me do that. One, two. Three, uh, eh. third quadrant, and then the fourth quadrant is right here. And just in naming these points, uh, it's good to know that the point, uh, what, this point right here, that point is, I'm going to zoom in a little bit more here so we can see this easier, that point is on, uh, now it's expressed as an ordered pair. Uh, and the x value is first, so that would be negative 5. And the y value is 3. So this point is negative 5, 3. And I could go to this point here. This point, the x value is negative 8. And the y value is negative 3. So negative 3 right there. Uh, and then finally, if I had um, this point right here, this point is 2, we put it in parentheses, comma, negative 3, right? Because this is the 2, this is the x value, and negative 3 is the y value. So there's uh, some information on graphing points. We start with the equation, and we go into a table and we use those values of the table for our ordered points and then we graph those ordered points and we make a straight line. I have one more here that I'd like to uh, offer up. Uh, let's go with um, y equals 3 fourths times x. Yeah, that should be okay. And for our x values, and so we, we can make a table. X, it's crooked, I'll just live with it. We have zero, I'm gonna go for multiples of four because my denominator is four. And so, I'll go zero, four, oops, <laughs> four, eight. I can get three points out of this on my graph because I have uh, see, if I look at my x, so my x values here is 0, 4, 8, that's going to be 0, 4, 8. There is no 12, otherwise I, I would have gone to 12 right there. Uh, okay, so this is going to be, this is going to need a little bit of math here. So the y value, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug in 0 for x, and then I'm going to get a y value. So maybe I'll do this. 3 fourths times 0, because that's my first x value. And anything times 0 is 0, so this would be 0. Then I'll have 3 fourths times my next x value, which is 4 right there. And 3 fourths times 4. And 4 is the same thing as 4 over 1. And that makes it a little bit easier because now that would be 12, because we multiply across, 3 times 4 is 12, and 4 times 1 is 4, and 12 divided by 4 is 3. So this is 3. And then my last y value, it would be 3 fourths times, uh, this time, it would be time, 3 fourths times x, and then our last x value is 8. So it would be 3 fourths times 8. And times 8 over 1, which 3 times 8 is 24, 4 times 1 is 4, 24 divided by 4 is 6, and there is 6. So now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to erase all this stuff here, 
is I want to write down my ordered pairs. I want to organize this. You might already see the ordered pairs. Uh, the ordered pairs are 0, 0, 4, 3, and 8, 6. So, and so, uh, 0, 0 is uh, right here, 0, 0. And then I have the point 4, 3. So 4, 3 is right here, 4, 3. And if I did this right, I would get a straight line, 8, 6. 8 and 6 is right here, 8, 6. And so to wrap this up, oops, I would have straight line right through the three of them. There it is. And we got it. That's it. That's what you got to know about graphing and uh, proportional relationships. Thanks for watching.